We have a good group of, of guys in that locker room and really, really good human beings. And, and we, that was a priority for us when we were, you know, building the roster with, with, uh, with Dan Tolzman. And so, you know, I, obviously I love the fact that they fight and play hard, you know, and it's that part is we're not worried about that. It's not an issue. I think they put three games together of high energy and effort and that's that's a good step in the right direction until I can figure out how I can help these guys stop turning the basketball over we're gonna have a lot of nights where we're on the losing side you know it's if you give up 32 points on on turns it's it's just hard to overcome that especially when we have a lot of good stuff going on this stat sheet and, and the energy and effort is great, and and we just it's hard, it's, there's no defense for that. During one of your timeouts, you guys had a lead, and you told them, "Don't let up, don't take your foot off the gas." Is that kind of what you were preaching? Just take care of the ball, or was there another message at that point? Well, uh, that I mean, you know, obviously, it's that at that time you want to make the right easy play. We don't need home runs, and, and but I was also saying attack the rim, you know, put press, you know don't let up by staying aggressive, attack the basketball. And they, they did a nice job because we shot, you know, 29 free throws. The turns, the turnovers, we, every game we're, we're 20 plus. I think maybe without that last game at Maine, I think we had 15, which I thought was our best offensive game. But every other game we've had 20 or more turns and it's hard to, it's hard to win that way. There was a bit of a scuffle there with um, Ronald and number five on the other team, I can't think of his name right now, Atkins. Um, how did you feel about your team's ability to keep their composure in a high intensity scenario like that? <laughs> <laughs> I thought uh, the team did a nice job. I don't think I did a, a very good job um, as far as dealing with the officials. I thought there was some, some, some tough ones tonight, but, and, and I thought, I, you know, I probably should have left those guys alone. Those things are out of our control, but I thought our guys, you know, did a nice job of I thought there was a lot of hacking grabbing slapping going on and it, and it was happening to us I thought more often than not and and our guys you know I was seemed like I was the only one complaining our guys held their head pretty good uh, coach you guys gave up 88 points in the final three quarters after holding them in 19 in the first one uh, do you have any ideas as to turnovers that turnovers there's no question you just you giving the team the basketball, and they're, I thought our half court defense was excellent. They really struggled to score in the half court. They, our guys executed the game plan. They were into it. We had two guys on on Jimmer and making him work. They did a nice job, um, and we just when we turned it over or took a few bad ones, they were able to get out in transition, and I thought that's where most of those points came. One of the things that you guys seem to do really well is generate corner three opportunities. I've noticed that a lot of the three-point shots you guys take are right off the corner. What is it about your offense that's generating those chances for you guys? Well, I think it's Ronald is such a threat rolling to the rim. They have to honor him. And our guards have done a nice job of if they do take Ron away, they're able to find the corner and, and they've done a nice job at that and that's a hard read that's an NBA level player read and we've done a nice job in that area of making sure we kick it out when they do take our role away. I just had a quick question about Axel he started for the first time in four games um, what was behind that decision? KP was uh, had sprained his ankle and he was inactive and um, I just thought you know Axel was kind of next man up 